In this video, I'm gonna show you why landing pages are so important for your business, how easy they are to actually set up, and how they can help you generate more leads online. Hey, Josh Harris here with Aria Black Book, and today we're talking all things landing pages for your real estate investing business. Now, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we launch a new video. On this channel, we talk about all things marketing and technology as it relates to real estate investing, and today is no different. Today, we're gonna be talking all about landing pages and why they're so important for your real estate investing business. So last week, we talked about about how easy it is to build a website for your business. We talked about why websites are important and it's definitely something that you need for your business. But websites aren't always the best or at least the homepage of your website isn't always the best place to drive traffic because there's a lot of things that somebody can do on a website. So like I said, in last week's video, we showed you how to build this website right here that you're seeing on your screen. It's a great website. It does a really good job of telling your potential prospect what you do, and they're completely customizable. If you haven't yet, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll make sure that we link to it so you can check that video out. But today I wanna talk about the difference between a website and a landing page. Now you're probably familiar with a website, right? Uh, you go to websites probably every single day. What a website typically has is a homepage and then it has a bunch of other pages off the homepage. Now, if I'm looking at the uh, this website right now that we showed you how to build last week, you can see if somebody comes to this page, they can go check out your blog, they can read the About Us page, they can go to your contact page, they can click to get a cash offer, they can scroll around. There's a lot of different things that they can do. Uh, and what that means is there's a lot of distractions. And so if you're spending money to drive traffic to your business online, you wanna be sending somebody directly to a landing page. And technically speaking, a landing page is just the page that somebody lands on after they click. So from a technical term, the homepage of your website could technically be a landing page, but it's not optimized to convert your visitors into leads. What I wanna show you how to do today is how to build a landing page that is optimized for converting more of your visitors into actual leads, which simply means when somebody lands on that page, more people are likely to either fill out their information in the web form or they're going to call the number on that landing page. And to do this inside of REI Blackbook, assuming you watched last week's video and followed along, or if you've already got a website created, it's extremely easy to do. There's just a few steps and I'm gonna walk you through them right now. All right, so if we jump into our REI Blackbook account, uh, you're seeing the dashboard right here. This is a screen you're gonna see uh, every time you log in. Uh, click view websites. And if I scroll down, this is the website that we created uh, last week together. So this is sellmystlouishouse.com. And as I explained, if I was going and uh, driving pay-per-click traffic to my uh, website, if I was trying to generate leads online through Google ads or Facebook ads or any type of online uh, paid advertising, I wouldn't necessarily wanna drive people directly to my homepage. The reason being, it's not because this page is not optimized to convert. The only problem is that there are there, there's a navigation. Uh, and there is distractions. So somebody could go read our blog, they could read about us. And you know, sometimes that's a good thing. You want people to, to learn more about your business, but sometimes people are just gonna Google you, right? And, and so they'll go and they'll, they'll read about you. You can put a little blurb about us and you can put things that will build trust with people that are visiting your website from, uh, from a pay-per-click ad, like testimonials, like a little section that says what you do, um, but you don't wanna have a navigation if you're driving leads uh, from, from pay-per-click because it's just not gonna convert uh, as well. So with that said, how do you remove the navigation but keep the same overall look and feel of the page? Because there's, if there's one thing that this website does really well, it calls out a very specific audience. So this is, these are a couple things that you're gonna wanna make sure that you do with your landing pages. Number one, you wanna make sure that you are calling out a specific audience. You're, you have a specific message 
a specific offer to a very specific audience. This being uh, people that want to sell their house fast in St. Louis. So we're not showing people that we have rental properties. We're not showing people that we flip houses. We're specifically talking to somebody who is interested in selling their house fast. Think about what they'd be searching on Google, probably how to sell my house in St. Louis or how to sell my rental property in St. Louis. You should take them to a landing page that speaks directly to their needs. So we could use this page exactly as it exists and just remove the header. And to do that is really easy to do inside of REI Blackbook. So I'm gonna jump inside of my website control panel. And what I'm gonna do first is just go and uh, go to manage pages. And actually we can just click on edit site and builder, sorry. If we click edit site and builder, it's gonna take us directly to the home page, And then I can just save this page as a template. So I can click on edit page. And now I'm in the page builder. And again, we talked about how to edit some of this uh, information in last week's video. So just make sure you check that out. Um, but if I go to tools, I can save it as a template and I'm gonna save this as home page template. Click save. And now we're going to just click done, publish changes. And now we're back to the home page. So now I have this and I can use this as a template. And the cool thing is you can do this with any of your web pages. If you build a page that you really like and you want to use um, for different neighborhoods or for different markets, you can save it as a template. Um, and now if I go into my website control panel, click add new page, I'm just going to call this sell my St. Louis house fast. Click create. And now it's going to take us to a brand new page and we can create a blank page. Um, but since we saved our last page as a template, we can just use that page and it's really easy. I just select it, click replace existing layout. And now we've got our page as you can see here, but we still have the navigation menu, uh, which is a problem for this particular use case. So to remove the navigation, if you click on page settings, you can see there's a template. And I'm just gonna say no header and footer. So what it does is it just completely removes the header and footer. I'm gonna save that, click reload. And now you can see I've got a page on my website uh, that has no header and footer. So what I like to do is go back in just from a, a look and feel perspective. I do like to add a header back in, but there's not gonna be a navigation menu. There's just gonna be a phone number that they can call. So I'm gonna go and click on add content I'm gonna drag a three column row out. And this is just a little demonstration of how our page builder works. Um, you don't have to do this. This is just a personal preference and I think it helps and it looks really nice. Um, so I'm gonna drag a photo out and throw our logo in there. Uh, so we'll do, let's see, I've got my logo right here. Click save. And I'm just gonna shrink the size of that. And then I'm also going to add a heading right here. Call today for your offer. I'm going to write justify that. And again, this isn't necessary, but I just wanna do this to give you uh, a little bit of a demonstration of how our page builder works. It's really intuitive uh, and it's super easy to use. And we've got a ton of training videos to show you how to use it. Uh, I'm gonna make the font size just a little bit smaller. So I might do, uh, let's say 20. All right, I think that looks pretty good. A little colon there. And then I'm gonna duplicate this and throw the phone number right here. And what you can do is just do phone. Oops, remove this. And since this is our website, it's gonna automatically pull in the phone number uh, that we have as our main phone number. Now, if you're using this for pay-per-click purposes and you wanted to put a different phone number on here because you're tracking your leads that you're getting from your pay-per-click calls uh, or from your pay-per-click ads, then you could go ahead and you could put, let's just say that um, you know 312-0008 is the phone number that we use for pay-per-click. And then you can make that clickable If you just use this, it's T-E-L colon, and then you just put the phone number with no hyphens. Um, let's style this up a little bit. And just remove a little bit of that spacing. 
All right, if we wanted to make this phone number, change the color of it. Again, this is not necessary. I just wanna show you uh, how this works. So it looks more like a clickable link because it is. Uh, we could do that. And then once this looks uh, nice, we can go ahead and click done and publish changes. And you can now see we've got a landing page that we could send somebody to that has stripped away all of the distractions. Now there's one last thing that I like to do and that is changing the hyperlink here. So right now, of course, I'm building this on ARIA Blackbook's uh, kind of long subdomain. Um, but if I go back to our website, all right, now back in my uh, site control panel, if I go to manage pages, you're now gonna see the page that we created. It's sell my St. Louis house fast. If I click on this little SEO button right here, I can change the hyperlink. And so let's say maybe I want it to be sellmystlouishouse.com forward slash sell dash now. If I click okay, and then I can click update. And it's just gonna take a second for this link to update. All right, so now if I open that page back up, you'll be able to see that forward slash sell dash now uh, is the new hyperlink. Um, and again, and again, right now you're just seeing the, the back end of the website editor and that's why we've got this long kind of jumbled up subdomain. But if you go to uh, sellmystlouishouse.com forward slash sell now, the page, as you'll notice, looks almost the same. We've just gone and uh, removed the navigation and replaced it with one that's a little bit more friendly for direct traffic. So now when somebody lands on this page, they really only have two options. They can browse the page, they can read the information, they can look at testimonials, and they can either opt in or give you a call or they can leave. And frankly, we're okay with each. Obviously, we would prefer somebody uh, opt in, but not everybody's going to do it. A lot more people though are gonna opt in if you send your traffic to a page like this rather than the homepage of your website. Many times website homepages uh, will convert at about two to 3% and a landing page like this, even with this small tweak, will convert much higher, uh, sometimes between 15 to 25% depending on the source of your traffic. So to wrap up this video, if you're currently thinking about, if you're currently driving traffic online or you're thinking about driving traffic online, you definitely wanna be using a landing page that is optimized to convert more of your visitors into leads. Because of course, the more leads you generate, the more deals that you can close. And if you wanna check out REI Blackbook and learn more about the services that we offer, there's a link below this video you can click to request a free on-demand demo. We'll send you a video uh, with a little bit of information about REI Blackbook, and if you wanna to speak to a member of our team, there will actually be a link on that page after you opt in for the on-demand demo where you can schedule a call with a member of our team and we can answer any questions that you might have about the platform, about how REI Blackbook can work with your specific business because REI Blackbook, the tool itself is extremely flexible. It can work for pretty much any type of real estate investor, uh, regardless if you're a solopreneur and you're operating a one person team or you've got a team of 10 to 15 to 20 uh, and you've got operations across multiple different markets and multiple different types of real estate. So if you're interested, be sure to check out the link below this video where you can request an on-demand demo. And if you'd like, you can speak with a member of our team. If this video was helpful, please make sure to hit the like button. It helps us grow our channel. And if you found value, please feel free to share it with members of your team or your friends and colleagues in the real estate industry. Again, this is Josh Harris with REI Blackbook. Thank you so much for checking out this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.